What in the world? I don't know if you saw that the little doll thing was there, and then it poofed over here. What is this little demon thing? Hey everybody, I'm Super Paul Games. What was this little demon toy that was given to Walter? It just magically poofs to where he is? I I think we should kill this thing. Pick up Creepazoid, talk through Creepazoid? I don't think I want to do either of those things. Chuck's back. What's up, Chuck? <laughs> you here to cause trouble? Is Oriel... Um... Swims? Oh, I forgot that we bought a telescope! Toby should have been using that! Don't you break that! I totally forgot we had that thing. Because many episodes ago, that's how Toby found a... Cruz Martingale that he was supposed to find. Well, Chuck seems to really enjoy using that telescope. Checking out the moon. Or whatever he's looking at. Are you done, Chuck? He's like, I've seen all the stars I need to. He doesn't like these party balloons? Yes, okay, look, I get these party balloons are a little worse for wear. Fine, I'll get rid of them. <laughs> we can sell them for 13 bucks? Who the hell is gonna buy them? Hey, do you want some balloons that are from a party like four months ago? Yeah, I'll buy them cheap. Don't you break that. You should at least be playing some music on there, bro. Just making it float. Still not as creepy as Creepazoid the doll, though. You want Toby? Talk through Creepazoid? I gotta see what happens when he does this. this... Alright, talk through this little weird dumbass doll. Walter, your demonic toy... Toby? Yes, go burn it. Maybe that's what you should do. Where are you going with this, Toby? <laughs> Get this away from my son. I don't care if one of Oreo's relatives sent it. Wait, don't don't bother Wally with it or uh Tyrone. Let's see. Robo Clark. Lodo. Play pizza. Makuzu. I, I have mixed feelings. It's, it's nice to see him actually bonding with his son for once. Even if it's through a creepy doll. See Nula want to see. Dirty bowl. Burnt yuck money. Wolja. Susu Garinda. Well, I can't disapprove of that. I don't like the doll, but I guess if it brings the two of them together for some bonding moments. Tyrone is probably like, this is the most time I've spent with my father in my entire life. I will always value this one memory. Will this let ma make Tyrone like his father more than Nikki? Because right now Tyrone is rather low on... <laughs> Tyro or uh, Toby's rather low on Tyrone's friend list. No, T Toby, don't leave that creepy doll here with your eldest son. He you shouldn't have to suffer for that. <laughs> you think Toby's gonna be like, how did you get such a nice room? If you've seen me do that in the other episodes, when I bring up the quit thing, I'm used to strategy games where Q and E rotate the camera. That's what I'm hitting. It's Walter's birthday! Today he embarks on the next stage of life's great adventure. Why not throw him a birthday cake and a party? Oriole's birthday, too! Alright, I mean... And technically, we never really aged up uh, Tyrone, did we? Everybody's leaving, though. They're all gonna miss the party. Alright, I don't know how many we need, but I bought three cakes. We'll get Toby to throw another party. I don't remember whose all birthday parties it is, but... Alright, we're going to invite... We're not going to invite Bertram over. He can go fuck himself. Um, let's invite Brianna over. Um, eccentric. I guess we'll invite this Chuck guy, Lilo... Like, none of these guys our kids are going to give a shit about. We can have a Vite Cruise over. Um, sure, why not? Or 
Wait, a kid? There is a child we can invite over. Uh, hopefully they already know our child. Um, casual attire. It's a birthday party, y'all. Lore Witchy says she has so much in common with Dick. Alright, so we can actually use some of these, I think, ahead of time. Okay, so Tyrone, you didn't get to blow out candles at your party because we were too lazy to buy you a cake. But, but you get a cake now, so you can get older. Settle an argument. Troy Blanco is a bit soured on logical thinking because it can make people a tad boring and logical. He must hate Vulcans. Have a chat with Troy Blanco. Whatever. Maybe Denise will talk to him about logic if he shows up to the party. I'm not going out of my way to do it. Somebody's got to show up. It's Ty Tyrone is going to age up. Yeah, come on, let's go celebrate it. Tyrone's been a good kid. He's not had the best upbringing. The guests are showing up for the other party. Somebody brought a turkey? The maid did. Lilo's peeking in through the window. Where are you, Oriel? Don't you want to see your child age up? You're busy. Come on in. This only happens once. Come on, little Tyrone. I know everything's getting crazy. <laughs> We're going to be doing a bunch of this, apparently. Because Oriole gets to do it. The little baby gets to do it. Prepare to change form. To disappointment. Happy birthday. Tyrone has reached his teen years. This has gone by so fast in the childhood. Angst and raging hormones can make this a difficult period for any sim. Tyrone can now work or join the workforce by taking a part-time job, although his grades are still a big factor in his future success. I hope that's not true, because I don't think his grades are good. Hasn't he done his homework only only once? I think, if anything, that means he's really smart, right? He's managed to avoid homework? Due to his indifferent study habits, you will not be allowed to choose a trait for Tyrone. He has developed the handy trait. Good for him. Man, I used to have long hair like that. Good for you. Now let's do another one. Oriel, you're going to get older. Nikki Hartman just witnessed Tyrone get older. Yep, that happens. Let's do it again. <laughs> Who the hell's out there? Oh, that's Chuck. You guys can come in. I don't know why Kid Kingpin looks like he's been doing jockey work, but... Come on in. Toby? I know you're getting older, woman, but I gotta go take a shit. Everybody left when Oriole's getting older. Nobody wants to see that. Come on, Blaster, don't you? There you go. Toby's like, man, that was a great shit, hon. Now I'm here to see you get old. Let them tits sag. It happens to us all. I like the people come in and get cake and leave. Ooh, I want that turkey. Tough toy turkey. It's not real. It's soy. Get that out of here. Who brought that? A stupid maid. A figure of stupid maid did. Fire him. Hey, eccentric. Brianna, happy birthday. Oriel has reached the elder status. She can now start thinking about retirement and basking in the glow of her glow of her What what accomplishments? All she's done is made babies. And don't get me wrong, that's important. But she hasn't shown up to work in, like, forever. She shouldn't take too long to get her affairs in order, though, because you never know when your time is up. She's like, oh, my butt! It's so old now. And let's have little Walter blow out the candles on his cake. Is that Lilo like, I can't get in there. Who the hell is this guy? Zack? I don't know that guy. <laughs> Who's it? Oh, there's Blazer. I guess you just haven't seen that outfit. I didn't know he had a tattoo. One more. Who's that? Connie Hines? Man, double poop, man. Poop party. Oriole and Lexi. Um, 
I'm not gonna recognize Tyrone now that he's older and got a ponytail. Where is Tyrone? Is he the one who's gonna bring the child in? Nobody else is willing to? Oh no, he was gonna feed the child. My parents don't feed you, little brother. But now I will. You have everything I didn't, including a creepy do Where did that creepy doll go? Oh, and I think uh, Toby left it in Tyrone's house. Alright, one more birthday candle thing. Let's get uh, Walter in there, right? Come on, little Walter. I, I thought it was Walter's time to age up. I forget. Somebody gonna get that kid? No? Toby's too busy, I think, talking to Blaster? I don't know. He's too busy. Toby! Get your damn child! This is why we threw this birthday party! Oh, now people are leaving. There goes Lilo. There goes that Connie Hines girl. I could have sworn Walter was old enough. Walter Bird is having a birthday party. Is it because of where the cake is? Is the cake in a bad place? Yeah. I sold that empty plate for 26 bucks. Alright, let's try that. There we go. Maybe? Toby! <laughs> Pick up your damn baby and let him get older. This is his birthday party. He's too busy. He's too busy eating cake and watching TV. Oh, let. <laughs> I don't- you couldn't read that because I clicked through it so quickly. Laura Witchy was like, you call that a party? I'm leaving. Sorry, our birthday party didn't live up to her expectations. Alright, come on. It's Walter's birthday party. Walter's an afterthought. Welcome to this family, Walter. Aren't you- I could have sworn- it literally says this is his birthday party. Multiple people have not liked the party. Despite the fact that there was free food here. Why won't you? Why won't? Let's try it with a different cake. Maybe there's an issue with that cake. Where are you going with that baby? Toby, that's not Walter's or uh, Walter's room. And knock, leave Tyrone some privacy. That stupid cat's wrecking shit is. <laughs> this is yours to raise now, <laughs> Tyrone. <sighs> I don't think. Wait, now what are you doing in here, Oriole? We were gonna... Is she gonna bring the baby to blow out the candles? I don't know what's going on. Alright, better late than never. Finally, Walter, who is the main reason for the party, is going to get older. At least, like, Tyrone came and showed up right away for him. Little Walter was left outside, too, but not for long, and only in the summer. <laughs> As if that wasn't still bit. Oreo, where are you? Oreo? Where are you going with your child? Nah, my baby. My baby can't get older. He's always going to be cute and adorable and stinky. Um, he's supposed to get older. Don't bring him as the sacrifice back to that creepy doll. Is everybody else still cheering over here? Yes. 
Um, I bring you your baby doll. <laughs> Okay, he's supposed to get older. I don't- I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if the game's confused. God knows I'm confused. She's just putting him back. He didn't get older or anything. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to. Alright, I don't know what any of that was about. Looks like Tyrone's throwing arm is getting stronger. I'm guessing they were doing a water balloon fight or they were playing catch. Nikki still should have a football. In the very beginning, I bought that football. Yeah, and she still has it. It was supposed to be for everybody. Foot and handball, apparently. Wait, is she going to slap somebody? Tyrone, you have permission to defend yourself if Nikki comes after you. No, they actually get along. <laughs> Wienerman Bush wants to know if Lexi Hardman would go on a date. I guess so. Nobody else. I guess that's why you take a shot, right? You would not think Wienerman's the catch. Lexi is. But nobody else has asked her out, so why not go for it? Lilo wants to go on a date with Dick Hardman. She wants another shot with him? Okay. Sure, why not? Is she trying to make up for lost time? As she's getting older and her f fertile years are leaving, she's like, Oh, man, maybe I should have given Dick more of a chance. Um, Floppy Jalopy, that's going to be Lexi's name when she's done with this date. Oh, that's sexier. Oh, my God. You didn't even put any clothes on, Wiener Man. And you're wearing a mask. And he's like, I'm attracted to her. Hey, girl. We not dork off. I don't know, maybe they'll get along. Wiener Man thinks Lexi is okay. She doesn't really think much about him. Well, I don't know. I guess they're getting along a little bit. Let's go see what Dick's doing. Officer Dick reporting for duty. Hey, girl. Lee thinks Dick is okay. She should have figured that out a long time ago. Two dates at once? Dueling dates? Did you just blow it? Wiener man! She's, she's a hard worker. She doesn't cause trouble. She makes really good money. She's like a real catch, bro. You're a fat dude who wears a wiener costume and walks around all the time. Uh oh, Lilo says we have so much in common. I'd love to get to know you better. Dick's date seems to be going good. Lexi has mooched eight dollars from Wiener Man. Okay, okay, maybe she has a bad habit of that. Oh, and she brought a book on her date. That does not bode well. If you bring a book on your date, that means you probably don't think things are gonna go well. Oh, Evie hurts. He loves the seat. I don't know. Let's see if things are going better for Dick. Oh. She's like, hey, baby, you want to get a ticket to ride? <laughs> Dick, no! <laughs> well, she liked it, I guess. So the, oh, water balloon fight. Maybe he's finally figured out women. Women like to get wet with water balloon. Where are you all going? They're going the long way around. Wait, they're leaving? No, wait, no, they're going the other long way around. Kona Parrot wants to talk to Toby. Sure, I don't know who the fuck that is. Guys? <laughs> they're gonna get lost. I wanna see the Lexi date. That one interests me more. Um, She's reading Point Farmer, the story of Grant Rodiak. While Wiener Man is busy looking at chairs. Uh, classic Sims date. He's he's laughing to himself or to the plant? Ha oh, ha, sunflower! You don't even look like sun! Things are going better for Nikki or uh, Dick, though. He seems to be having a good time. 
Him and Lilo. Oh, well, another cop? Whoa, Felipe's a cop? I think I remember Dick giving him grief a long time ago. Well, either way, I'll see y'all next time. Maybe something will come out of one of these dates. I don't think anything is coming out of the Lexi date. She's busy reading alone. There goes Wiener Man. Is he going home? He might be done with this date. I think he is. As yep, there goes Wiener Man. As goes Wiener Man, so goes I.